and it will take, like I said, it'll take more effort to get the production, get this factory to high volume production than it took to build it in the first place. Mm -hmm. Despite the fact that Giga Texas is currently going through a very rough patch, this giant factory will continue to produce EVs as usual, even though the output of this factory is expected to exceed the previous plan. So, how can the Giga Texas factory manage this? Stay tuned to find out. Welcome back to Tesla Car World, where we give you the latest and most up-to-date information about the world of EVs. If it's your first time here, or if you haven't already, you could be doing us a huge favor by subscribing to the channel and ringing that bell so you won't miss out on the next exciting episode. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's get started on today's episode. Some analysts predict that Giga Texas will reach production of 15 to 20,000 EVs per week by the end of the third quarter of this year, even though the factory can manufacture roughly 1 million cars in just 300 days. In order to produce such a large number of EVs, it's impossible not to mention the production of the most important part of the EVs, which is the battery. Tesla also found a way to save on battery production costs. When Tesla unveiled its plan to produce its own new tablet's battery cell in a bigger format with new chemistry, the automaker claimed to have solved some major issues that were preventing the industry from producing bigger cylindrical lithium-ion cells in a new format called, drumroll please, 4680. Anywho, Tesla's new 4680 battery cells have the potential to be cheaper, more efficient, and therefore enable a longer range or smaller battery packs. The Giga Texas plant is also one of the production sites for Tesla's in-house 4680 batteries. Besides that, Tesla is also partnering with other battery suppliers to deploy their own production of the new cells. Most recently, Tesla's longtime battery supplier LG Energy Solutions announced that it would invest $567.76 million to expand its battery production capacity in South Korea. The expansion includes a new assembly line that would produce 4680 cylindrical battery cells. LG also plans to invest $450 million to add an assembly line that would produce 4680 cylindrical battery cells at its number 2 O Chang factory. The new assembly line with a production capacity of 9 gigawatt hours, an average of 70 kilowatt hours per battery pack, would enable the production of around 125,000 electric vehicles per year. Additionally, Tesla in listed the support of the Texas government for the construction and operation of the Giga Texas factory. Accordingly, Travis County in Texas previously had approved giving Tesla tax breaks worth a minimum of $14.7 million to build a new car plant there. Also, as per the analysts at Good Jobs First, the state and local authorities in Texas gifted Tesla with more than $65.4 million in subsidies, chiefly property tax abatements, to attract a Tesla factory to Austin. Meanwhile, California has provided only about $15.6 million in state-level job development funding. Hence, the amount of support for the state of Texas for Tesla is four times higher than that of the state of California. These tax supports from the Texas government have also helped the Giga Texas factory reduce some of the financial burdens when it first came into operation. Governor Greg Abbott emphasized Musk's long-term vision in Texas as follows. And he knows he has a better ability to do that in Texas with the freedoms that we offer him with the low cost not only that, in order to increase the production of electric vehicles during this difficult period, Giga Texas also urgently needed an abundant workforce to handle the operations, manufacturing of electric vehicle parts, as well as logistics all inside the plant. Tesla's CEO Elon Musk said that Giga Texas would need over 10,000 people by 2022, doubling the minimum number of hires the company initially indicated. It became known that as of currently over 5,000 employees already work at Giga Texas. However, recently at the Qatar Economic Forum, Musk has been sending out conflicting signals on his staffing plans. He said, Tesla is reducing the salaried workforce roughly 10% over the next probably three months or so. But Musk then went on to add, well, It's quite clear that we expect to grow our, our, our hourly workforce, um, but we grew very fast with, on, the, on the salaried side. Um, and we grew a little too fast in some areas, and so it requires a reduction in the salaried workforce. 
On the other hand, those who actually build cars and batteries in the Giga Texas factory have nothing to worry about as the cuts only concern salaried workers and Tesla revealed that roughly 40% of its global staff were production line workers at the start of the year. Besides that, the company still continues to ramp up staffing and production for Giga Texas. In fact, Giga Texas is a fast growing modern manufacturing plant. Its production capacity may make other automakers wary. In which they should, because the Giga Texas factory applies most modern machines in production. At present, Tesla says its production lines are over 85% automated. Despite this, the firm is always seeking ways to automate more of the manufacturing process. Tesla's manufacturing process aims to utilize automation to the fullest. The standard for other automobile producing factories is to use robots mainly for heavy lifting or high speed methods. Tesla's goal is to incorporate state of the art robotics and other technology as innovative and efficiently as possible. So even though Tesla has thousands of people employed at the Texas Gigafactory, automation is a key characteristic that shows up in almost every step of the manufacturing process. Along with the support from the world's most advanced technology in the electric car industry today, which is the giant casting machine called Gigapress, which helps Tesla optimize the production time of the Model Ys, Tesla is also preparing to put the humanoid robot prototype, the Tesla bot, into use at Giga Texas in the near future. Elon Musk announced that Tesla might have a working prototype of the Tesla bot, also known as Optimus, by September 30th or at the end of the quarter of 2022. The Tesla bot would at first be programmed to perform simple and repetitive tasks, including manufacturing operations at Giga Texas. Tesla plans for the robot to improve over time and be able to perform a wider range of tasks that would make it useful for both commercial and consumer applications. Ultimately, Elon Musk is considering the possibility of Tesla investing in advertising, but more informational ones. Although Musk has opposed the idea of Tesla ads in the past, during a recent interview he acknowledged that Tesla ads might have some advantages that will help Tesla compete with its competitors. Tesla advertising will focus more on information about its cars and features, and would help customers and potential buyers better understand the company's products. What do you think about this? Ads or no ads? Would you rather wait five seconds and skip, or would you rather take your time and actually learn from an ad? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Otherwise, that's it for today's episode. We sincerely thank you for watching and for all of your support of our channel. As always, if you enjoyed our video, please leave a like, share it, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell to stay up to date on exciting developments in the world of EVs. Once again, we thank you so much. From all of us here, we hope to see you again next time.